What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be working on this half ounce fine silver year of the rabbit 2023 round. And we're gonna make this into a coin ring today. First thing we gotta do is punch a hole in it. So we're gonna pop that right in here. And a little piece of paper. If anybody has any questions while I work, feel free to ask. Nice little center punch, little rabbit. And there is our coin so far. We're gonna go ahead and clean up that inside edge real quick. And then a little too much there, there we go. I do encourage you guys to check out my site. Uh, there's a little gold chain at the bottom of the screen you can tap on, go take a look at it. And again, if anybody has any questions, let me know. That should do it. Nice and smooth. Now we're going to go ahead and anneal it. It's a process where we heat it up with a bit of fire. It's going to help soften up our silver and make it easier to fold and shape into a ring. If you guys have never seen me before, I'm a coin ring maker. I make coins into rings. All different types of coins. If you'd like to take a look at some of my finished work, there is a little gold chain at the bottom of the screen here you can tap on. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for stopping by and watching me work. I haven't worked on one of these before, so I'm excited to see how this comes out. That's what's up. I'm glad you like it, man. Very nice. Very nice. Now we're going to take it over to our one ton arbor press and give it a couple folds. Just started making jewelry. That's what's up. Yeah, I really enjoy it. There's definitely a bit of a learning curve to it. But if you have patience, you can get pretty far. I'm actually kind of surprised I've gotten as far as I have. Slow and steady, absolutely. The rushing is your enemy. Don't Enjoy the process. Take your time. It's one of the hardest lessons I had to learn. I almost always mess up when I start rushing. 
it cracks me up when people ask how long it takes me to make a ring because I don't keep track. I just make them. It takes however long it takes. I'm not trying to do it, you know, faster. That's when you start screwing up. Where is my Navarro ring sticker? Do do do, do. right here. Um, also got one over here. <laughs> They're all over the place. Let's see, there's uh, some Navarro. I got a carved coin from him up here. It's pretty cool. Navarro. Yeah, dude, he's all over. Yeah, this is the first time I've worked on this particular round. This is a half ounce fine silver year of the rabbit. You got a little rabbit feet there. Little rabbit ears at the top. 2023 on the side there. Pretty cute little round. Woo, about to drop my phone. Let's put it in that holder. There we go. All right, we're going to stretch it out just a little bit here on the old ring stretcher. The other day, one of my... Uh, my youngest son found some of uh, Chris's candy, <laughs> and he was super stoked. He was like, yeah, candy. And he popped that sucker open, and uh, man, he, he did not. <laughs> it wasn't for him. <laughs> he made the goofiest face. He was like, what the hell <laughs> what kind of candy is this? I know some people really like it, but it, it wasn't for him. It cracked me up. It's pretty funny. We're going to throw some tape on this thing. Get it facing the right way. There we go. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. He says, spicy. <laughs> spicy candy. Yucky, Dad. All right, let me up. I was rolling. So I don't think he's going <laughs> to try and steal my candy anymore. <laughs> Made him slow his roll for a second, that's for sure. Slowly making this a little smaller and smaller. Actually, this is a uh, this is a perfect tin die, so it's actually a sharper incline. I think it's about three degrees, whereas uh, the Swedish wrap is seven degrees, so it's it's even sharper. Uh, these are made by a guy named Neil. I think it's Pipet. Neil P. Uh, but they're they're perfect tin dies, so they're even more. Uh, drastic of an incline than the average Swedish wrap. I'm a big fan of them. I like them. But I'm still kind of tinkering with them. I haven't had the Perfect 10 set very long. So I'm still doing some experimenting with it. How old is he? He just turned four.
again, a little bit of a cone shape, but not as, as uh, sheer as it would be. You doing Year of the Rabbit coins? That's my sign. Well, yeah, I'm doing a Year of the Rabbit 2023 half ounce fine silver round at the moment. Let me give it another push and I'll, I'll give you a look at how it's coming along. I'm not sure where I got them. I think it is from Perth. little snug in there. There we go. Lucky rabbit's feet on there. Some nice little flowers. I didn't notice those before. Year of the rabbit. So yeah, this is the first one of these I've I've worked on. So these will be on the website relatively soon, probably by the end of the week. It's pretty cool. Let's see if we can look on the inside. Yeah. Try outs. Fine silver. Very nice. It's got a little bit of a lip on the inside there, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that away real quick. Not too severe. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think they're going to be pretty cool. I'm always way slow on getting the coins of the year. I think I started adding 2022 stuff in like November last year. <laughs> so I'm trying to get a little, a little more ahead. <laughs> it's tricky. quite cut the way I want. Let's try the blue one. No, that's not cutting quite the way I want either. Just picked up two of the one ounce, a half ounce, and a quarter ounce gold. Woo! Nice. Fancy. Might have to get a ring too. Hey, I'm not going to stop you. Oh, are they all the year of the rabbits? I like how the uh, the year is positioned on this round. It's it's kind of nice. As you fold it, it gets a little bit of a curve to it. I'll show you guys in a second. That's cutting real good. There we go. But yeah, how the 2022 comes out on these, or 2023, gets a little, little curve on it, that looks cool. Yeah, these should be on the website in about a week. I gotta, I gotta take some product photos once I finish this one up, and they should be good to go, good to go in about a week. Nice. Yeah, Australia makes really nice coins. I, I like I like the Australian mint. It's pretty cool stuff. I bet. Yeah, they've got they've got good artists working on their coins for sure. You just got yours today? That's what's up. 
Yeah, dude, I love this thing. It's great. I didn't think I would I would use it as much as I do. It is saving my fingers. I'm glad you were able to get one. Last time I checked, you only had one listed. I was like, oh man. I hope you make some more. Because people keep asking about it. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely saves my uh, my hand muscles from cramping up as much as they used to. And that's let's see, it's a little little big for my taste, so we're gonna we're gonna shrink it down a little bit more. How much would those rings be? These are gonna be 150. Oh, all my uh, half ounce round coin rings are 150. Say, if you tell me your ring size, I'll make this one for you. So it'll be ready when you order. <laughs> What's your ring size? So I usually just make them to fit me. Very nice, very nice. Uh, one ounce is as big as I can go. Two ounces are just, just a bit too much for me at the moment. Um, the, the people I know that work on two ounce rounds usually make them into like bracelets. It's usually just way too much metal. Like, let me kind of pull it one ounce. So yeah, this is an example of a, uh, a one ounce silver round and like, look how big that ring is already. If we doubled that, I can do one ounce in size, uh, size 17. So yeah, I could stretch this uh, to a 17. There's quite a few different designs for the one ounce rounds on my website. If you tap the gold chain down here, uh, you can find them. They're going to be under fine silver one ounce rounds. I can get those up to 17 for you. Not a problem. Two ounce, I, I honestly haven't tried. I think they would, they would, like the band would just be gigantic. Yeah, go take a look. <laughs> yeah. See, the biggest one I've made to date has been a size 18. So I can get a size 17 for sure. The guy who got a size 18, he got two rings at the same time. So I had these two massive one ounce round coin rings for a minute. They were great. What am I doing? So this is a half ounce fine silver 
2023 year of the rabbit round and I'm making it into a ring. See the nice flowers on there, really cool design. Can any of these coin rings be painted black uh, well enough to hold? If you want to um, add kind of an antique look to it, there's this stuff called uh, liver of sulfur. Looks like this. And um, this stuff will kind of darken the ring. And you can kind of buff away the higher points using some like really fine steel wool, and that'll bring out the details a bit. Personally, I uh, sell my coin rings as shiny as possible uh, because this stuff really stinks, and my work area is really small, so I'm not a big fan of using it. Um, but that's, that's what you would want to use if you wanted to darken it up a bit. You have a lot of silver, and you don't know what to do with it? Well, Deb, uh, go follow me on YouTube. The channel's uh, called Coin Ring Maker. Watch some tutorials. Uh, also, if you visit coinringmaker.com, I have a recommended tool list for getting started on making coin rings. Uh, it's pretty fun, and it's definitely a good use of silver. If that's something you're interested in. So I don't do too much tutorials here on TikTok because it's more uh, short form content. So I just kind of speed stuff up here to kind of just grab people's attention. But um, if, you, if you look me up on YouTube, there's more tutorials over there to help you get started. And that recommended tool list on coinringmaker.com is really helpful as well. There's a few different ones. Let's see here. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Is a uh, stoned and uh, mortared still here? If you're interested in this, let me know your ring size and uh, we'll finish this up for you and take some pictures and I'll get it on the site if you are still interested in getting this bad boy. What's up? What's up? Making a half ounce ear of the rabbit fine silver round into a coin ring today. We're almost done with it. There's a little bit of shaping issue. It's a little wider on this end and this one. Jax is another one for fairness with a whole lot of smoke. I'll check that out. It's just called Jax. Because that liver of sulfur really, really stinks up my, uh, my workshop. I'm not a big fan of using it. It stains my fingers too. I'm not a big fan of it. I mean, I, I really don't mind if you're still on the fence. I mean, I'm making it. Let me know your ring size. We'll, we'll get it there. Yeah. Oh, and spilling it, dude. If you end up spilling liver of sulfur, it'll like stain your tools and your work area and it's, it's stinky. Schmeller, schmeller, schmeller. But you can, you can get rings to look pretty cool with it. I've seen others use it quite well. I'm just not a big fan of it. I like shiny stuff. Oh, that's too big. down. Perfect. We'll probably make this into size nine today then. Yeah, I'm not dogging on the antique look. I think it looks nice. I just, <laughs> I don't like what you have to do to get there. 
So I just shine mine until I get a nice mirror finish on it. I think they, they get nice and pretty that way. I'm just going to push this and flip it a couple times. Get a real nice shape on it. Maybe one more. Make it a 10? Alright. Should be pretty close to a 10. I love this tape for how strong it is, but I always have a hell of a time getting it off. Come on now. How many traps do I typically do on a ring? Uh, probably about four, maybe probably more than four, uh, like six, maybe. That looks nice. Gonna veer the rabbit right across the top. Spin it a bit, get that 2023 there. Little rabbit's feet hanging out. That's cute. I like it. I like the year of the rabbit face up. That's nice. Let's see how close we are to a 10. Oh, no, we got it at a 9. So I could stretch it a bit. To get it up to a 10. So yeah, I'm going to hop off of here, take some pictures of this so we can get it posted. Uh, check back a little later tonight. It should be up on the site for you. All right, bud? Nice. Peace.